Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, reviewing and testing of this TP-Link pass-through power line starter kit model TLPA4010P kit version 5 plug and play integrated power socket AV600 megabits per second extend internet to every room using existing electrical wiring no need for new wires or drilling network passes through walls and floors Home plug AV standard compliant provides users with a stable, high speed data transfer rates of up to 600 megabits per second to meet everyday use. Power saving automatically switches to power saving mode when not in use, reducing its every consumption by up to 85%. Don't lose an outlet. An integrated socket lets you power regular devices as normal, and built in noise filter prevents them from interrupting the power line signal. Easy management with the PLC utilities, download from the tplink.com for PC and Mac. Power line adapters and extenders must be deployed in a set of two or more and be connected to the same electrical circuit. Works with all routers and home plug, AV, AV2 power line adapters and extenders. Connects more devices by adding more adapters or connecting an access point or a switch. Power line security 128 bit AES encryption ranges up to 300 meters or 1000 feet over existing electrical wiring. Nice, all that specs, of course, I'm going to test it. The reason that I purchased this is because I am in the fourth floor and I need internet to my basement and I think it's about 45 meters the wires that is coming through my walls. Well, we're gonna find out if it will work or not. Let's see what we have inside. Three years warranty it gives tippling. Okay, we've got a quick installation guide. Well, stay with me. We're gonna find out all about this product together. We are gonna find out how it works two of them of course and inside we've got very convenient we've got two ethernet cables it is cat5 okay pretty much are the same We've got an ultra compact design allows the adapter to be plugged into the socket without blocking other sockets. We've got an Ethernet port provides reliable high speed wired connection for game, console, smart TVs and STB and more. And you're not going to lose any outlet. You've got an outlet here, you can connect it. Pair mode for more security, instantly secure all adapters on your network. We've got three LEDs both the devices. The first, it is the power. When it is on, the power line adapter is on, of course. Blinking quickly, pairing is in process, slowly, power saving mode is on. And where it's off, of course, the power adapter is off. The next icon is the power line. When it's on, the power line adapter is connected to a power line network. Off, the power line adapter is not connected. And the Ethernet, we've got the Ethernet port is connected or not connected. Very typical LEDs and I think it's time for testing to see how it works. I have a big curiosity if it will work or not. And here we can see it is a max 3680 watt, max is 16 amps. Well, nice. As a typical outlet. And of course, as I'm going to test it, I will test it the speed. I will connect my laptop through the Ethernet port and I will see my Ethernet speed and then I will transfer some data to my server to see the speed of transferring files through electric wires and the distance it will be about 45 meters of wiring through walls. Now we need to push the pair button and release it. And as we can see, now we, we are in a pair mode, that means it's communicated with the other device. And this device is in the basement. 
And here is the software, the TP-Link PLC Utility. We can see we've got both of the devices. They are communicating right now in 311 megabits per second. Of course, that it will change time to time. In the first device, we can see that we've got the basic settings. The name, you can rename the device. LED, turn off on the LEDs of the device. Reset the version. Next, on the advanced settings, we can choose select a traffic type with the highest priority, internet, online gaming, voice over IP, audio or video. Update, you can download the update and update the firmware with the download NVM and PIB files. Now the mode, power saving mode, on or off. It will be wisely to turn off the power saving mode because maybe you will get some interruptions between the two devices and they will stop to communicate it. I did have something like that and that's for I disabled this uh, parameter. Okay, we can see now they are communicating. Two icons are on. We've got here power rate 50 megabits per second. We've got some info power line rate here means the transmission capability of your electrical wiring difference from the actual data transfer rate of your terminal. Yes, right. And the same here, the same settings as the other. And with the advanced, again the same. Power saving disabled and that. And here you have a trash can, you can remove the device. And again you can see now it is in 336 megabits per second. You can add a new device, secure, enter a new powerline network name, refresh, LED, again you can turn on or turn off your LED of your device, usage tips, how to connect directly to your wall outlet, not to the power strip and then the power strip to the wall outlet. And again here directly to the wall outlet your tp link and then connect the power strip to the uh, tp link and here power strip connected first and then the tp link uh, not that is not okay well that was all about the app and the communication between the devices the settings that you can choose and change well let's move on to find out the speed uh, of the internet and transferring some files Well guys, you have seen the test, you have seen the numbers, is it 10 to 11 gigabits per second copy some files from my laptop through the power lines to the server. Of course, this power line is not a gigabit power line, that's for is these numbers, but when I'm making the test for my internet connection, it is amazing. It is the same thing like I am connected directly to my router. I'm very happy. To be honest, I have uh, a low expectation about this uh, power line starter. But now, as i working with this powerline starter, there is no problem. I didn't find any interruption, no disconnection, and it's working perfectly. I'm very happy with the internet connections. And definitely, I will do some job to my basement with no problem. I can connect other devices 
through the Wi-Fi repeater that I will connect to the future. That's for stay with me. I'm going to find out my new video of my new TP-Link uh, repeater. That's for don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I purchased this about 36 euros. I think it's a great price. That was all guys. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.